Marvelous. Perhaps you all can, indeed, save the world. Chroma. Do as you wish. Estelle, come on. Judith? Right. Do it. Gnome was right there, pretty awake. Chroma knew a lot about Duke. He should have talked, but nah. Indeed. Maybe we can ask her more when she's awake. Let's head back for now. Right. We don't have time to just hang around here. Oh, not that path again. These old bones of mine are tired. That old man should go rest in this air spring. Yeah, you can walk right up to here. This is probably a bad idea, because I'm sure that would probably, like, kill someone. Because it would just be so powerful and just destroy you, but yeah. <clears throat> now we want to head out here, because, well, we have a long walk back ahead of us. A very long walk. But with this, we have all four elemental spirits. Now we just need Sheba to bring over Corinne, so we have the Heart Summoner. Ha ha ha. No. A much unnecessary uh, Symphonia reference, and oh man, am I gonna have to fight these all over again? I might just cut to when I'm out of here, because this is gonna take a while. Oh, okay, maybe not. I think we might be okay. Where's my holy bottles? Alright, here, okay. You're, no, I am gonna cut till we get out of here, unless there's a skit or something, because this is gonna take a long time. This is gonna take like five minutes. And that's just. That massive amount of backtracking I don't want to put you through, so yeah. I'll meet you at the top. Oh, this is gonna take a while. God damn, this is a long walk. Oh, look, a scene. Haha. -ha. <sighs> Finally. Halfway up. If the air were a little more stable, I could get Baul down here. My consciousness. This is what it means to become a spirit. Oh, to think of all the things that were hidden from me. Guess she's awake. Um... So, would you still prefer to be called Chroma? No. I am no longer the Antilochia known as Chroma. You should give me a new name. Well... How about Sylph? It means the Binder of Winds. Sylph. Very well. That shall be my name. Okay, Sylph. Nice to meet you. A pleasure to meet you, too. Sylph, would you tell us why Duke hates humans? Very well. You know about the Great War, right? There were Intelikea who chose to live with humans, and those who chose to oppose them. The Great War was between humans who broke an ancient prohibition and the Intelikea who opposed them. And the war ended when the hero Duke won victory for the humans. Duke's a hero? Really? That's one of the truths the Empire's hiding. Humans alone could not have won that war. Elucifer, the leader of the Antilochia advocating living with humans, fought alongside them and granted them victory. Are you serious? Even I never heard that. But what does this have to do with Duke not trusting humans? Elucifer was Duke's friend. Duke fought with Elucifer against the leader of the ones who opposed humans, and defeated him. However, 
Once the war ended, the Empire feared Elucifer's power. They assaulted the injured Elucifer and took his life. He had promised Duke that he would merely watch, but it didn't matter. No. Now I get it. Anyone would stop trusting humans after that. I had no idea that was going on during the war. But it doesn't matter how badly he was betrayed. He has no right to sacrifice every human life. If you do not destroy the Adafagos before Duke, in the end, humanity will be destroyed. Hurry. I have calmed the winds. I believe Ba'u can reach you now. Yay! Saved us five minutes. Thank you, Sylph. So the spirits are working out all right, but... Duke isn't. Yeah. Call Ba'ul and exit hell yeah. Nothing else we can do here. We managed to get the four elemental spirits. Yeah. Now. We have to convert the world's Blastia cores to spirits. Right. If we could control the Atafagos with just those four, then we wouldn't need the others. That thing is not exactly something you want to take on lightly. We better make damn sure we're set. There's no second chance. I know, I know. Just by creating the spirits, we've already changed Terra Lumerains. Even if it is to save the world. We've been making these decisions all on our own. Now we're changing the lives of everyone in the world. That can't be just our decision. Yeah, you're right. If we can't get them to understand what we're trying to do, we're just as bad as Alexei. But we don't have time. But we can still talk to the Imperial Knights and the Guilds, right? But if they don't approve of how we're doing things, we will become the great evil. I can't stand by and watch the world be destroyed. Even if Duke manages to save the world his way, it doesn't mean anything if there's no one left to live in it. So I don't care if people call me evil. I will give up the Blastia to defeat the Atafagos. What are you going to do? If you want to get off, now's the time. I'm going. My life belongs to brave Vesperia anyway. Me too. Pharaoh and Bellius left it to us. And I don't like leaving things half finished. I know what it feels like to regret what you didn't do. If I stop now, I'll really regret it. Yeah, me too. I don't want to feel like that. No matter what path I choose, I can take whatever happens. I've learned that on this journey. And the people of the world will understand. They're strong enough to take a changing world. Yeah. We do this today so we can laugh tomorrow. That's what I believe. <laughs> All right, everyone. Together until the end. So let's get ready and then go talk to His Majesty Yoder and the people in the Union. So what exactly do you need to get ready? Leave it to me. I want to stop by a city somewhere. I need to pick up some stuff. How about Port Nor? It's at the edge of Elikia. I want to find out what's happened at Emmeet Hill since the road was blocked too. Let's go. Now that we know about Elucifer, I might as well say that grave in Emmett Hill, that's Elucifer's. That's why Duke was there. Efreet, Gnome, Sylph, the spirits of the four great elements have been born. The Entelikea were thinking of the planet after all. I was worried there for a little bit, but that wasn't too bad. You call surviving by the skin of our teeth not too bad? Ha! Ow! A anyway, we can defeat the Autobagos for sure now, right? Not yet. There's still too many unknown variables. Hypothesize, test, evaluate, then prove. We have to follow the proper steps to ensure success. I'm not even sure how effective the four elements will be in converting air to mana yet. Wait, could the mana from the loss and materialized air created by the spirits be maintaining the balance? If so, then I shouldn't be measuring the actual value, but... No, that's not right. I mean... Okay, she's gone. Yep, I'd say there's nothing to worry about. And so... Rita began to talk for a thousand winters to protect the world. But no. We're out of time now, so next time on this cutscene. Is Bile doing alright? Sure he's not getting too tired? No, he's fine. But he's uneasy. What's wrong? The apatheia within him isn't enough to undergo spirit conversion yet. But he knows that someday he will need to give up his current form and become a spirit. 
Well, humans are all going to die sometime, but we don't spend every day worrying about it. I imagine some people do. Are you saying Baul is that weak? He's far more delicate than you, Yuri. Dying, in his case, isn't exactly death like we normally think of it, though, right? But it does mean that his consciousness will disappear and be replaced by something new. So it's basically a fear of the unknown. That part of it is actually not too different from us. The other in Delakea have accepted that they must become spirits. They feel it is their duty to maintain the stability of this planet. Baul's got a mission of his own, though, doesn't he? I mean, what about his commitment to destroy all of the Hermes Blastia? The determination necessary for destroying Blastia and becoming a spirit are very different. Baul still lacks the resolve to give up his identity as an Intelakea. I think lacking it is a lot healthier if you ask me. And I certainly understand. He seems pleased that you understand him. Still, I worry about him going on like this. Do you want him to become a spirit, Judy? No, not in the least. But I wonder what the Intelakea, what the spirits themselves must think. You rang? What's going on? I'm not sure. Baul and the spirits are communicating. Or something like that, but without using their voices. Yes. What happened? He says we shouldn't worry about him. But what was all that? Hmm. The spirit said something to calm him down. Maybe they told him how easy they've got it. Yeah, probably. At any rate, it's impossible for him to become a spirit now. We're going to have to go on depending on you until the journey's over, Bowel. He wants you to know you can count on him. Okay, as I was trying to say, I'm gonna end the episode up here, not before it's good. Was Guzios and Kerbakram in order to feed on the air? Yes. That's how the Hunting Blades managed to trap him in their reverse barrier. So is that what you and Baal were doing there, Judy? Did you go to save Gusios? Not originally. We went there to destroy the Hermes Blastia, creating the reverse barrier. Besides, in the end I was unable to save Gusios. He wasn't allowed to decide whether he was for or against becoming a spirit. It's not your fault. There was nothing else you could have done. We won't let his sacrifice be for nothing. We'll use the spirits well and defeat the Autophagos. Right. Yes. Baul says that aside from spirit conversion, he will do everything in his power to aid us. I'm glad he's on our side. 